Happy St. Patrick's Day! Today is a happy holiday, so let's counter that by getting sad as shit. Okay. Hi, hello there, my name is Kayla Bell, and today I just really wanted to reminisce on my emo days. So today I'm going to take us all back about a decade or so, back to 2005 to 2008. Back to the days where everybody's MySpace profile had some oversaturated picture of them posing awkwardly on the bathroom sink, and Hot Topic was like the place to shop. So we're just going to listen to some music and hang out and reminisce on what it was like to be a teenage emo. But first, I think I need to sadden my appearance before we begin. So, oh. Oh wait, this this is my One Direction shirt. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna do this, guys. Hold on. Let's try this one more time. All right, all right, here we go. Yeah, much better. How can I make this room as dark as my soul but still have good lighting for this video? So what we're going to do is I'm just gonna go to good old handy YouTube and we're going to play some songs from emo bands and just talk about stuff. Lego. Now, I feel like I should start with Fall Out Boy, just because, like, I have all of their albums. Queen Emo. And also, they just did a lot for us emos back in the day, so, I mean, that feels like a good start, right? Let's, let's see what they got. Wentz invented guy liner. He's like, whatever, I like to wear makeup. Like, get over it. The original feminist. Hey, hey, guess guess which Fall Out Boy song makes me cry. Yes. No, guess. You you got you gotta guess. No, guess. Get you gotta guess. Okay, I'll tell you. Where is your boy tonight? I hope he is a gentleman. Maybe he won't find out what I know. You were the last good thing about this part of town. This next song? Okay, so the thing with this next song. Before this next song existed, we didn't know what true emo was. Like, this band took emo to a whole nother level. Like, it's crazy. As I'm pacing the pews in a church corridor And I can't help but to hear No, I can't help but to hear In exchanging of words I love you too I chime in with the haven't you people ever heard of Closing a goddamn door No, it's much better to face these kinds of things With a sense of voice and rationality People are still emo about that song Like, you can play that anywhere today and people will get in their feelings instantly about it and then as if that wasn't enough they took emo to a completely different place with the next album with the aptly named pretty odd I can't believe Ryan Ross wrote Pretty Odd as a love letter to Brandon Urie. Like, the whole thing. When the day met the night, that green gentleman, northern downpour, oh. Remember when Ryden made out? Which time, Kayla? Remember in that odd little family of emos where everybody just like made out with each other at some point in time? Patrick and Pete, Pete and Ryan, Ryan and Brendan, Brendan and Gabe, Gabe and Travi. There was just a whole lot of saliva going around that time. And nobody was wearing condoms, I don't think. That was before Warp Tour started passing them out for free. That was when they started passing them out. Let's talk about Paramore. <laughs> Like, 
all we had for females in pop punk at the time. Like there might have been like two others, but Hey The Women was like doing it for all of the girls and everybody wanted to be her, especially me. I still kind of do. She just got married. Congratulations, Haley and Jad. They've been together for like a smooth decade. That's so beautiful. Love always wins, guys. Always. I mean, I guess we should acknowledge the band that's on my shirt. Why not? Let's do it. Do I look like I have luscious brown hair or do I just look like a princess of Saudi Arabia? Yeah. Panning at the Disco and Gym Class Heroes fanfic. I would read you some, but I burned most of it and my mom hid the rest. My mom read a bit of my fanfic. I don't know how I survived 14. I should have died of embarrassment. Rapid fire song play, go! Do you feel like a man when you push her? First day of my life. I swear I was born right in the doorway. You've got this new head filled up with smoke, and I got my veins all tangled close to the jukebox bars you frequent. The safest place to hide. I just wanna break you down so badly. When I jump over He said, son, when you grow up, would you be the savior of the broken, the beaten, and the damned? Whew. Well, that was something. But if there's still a lot of emo bands that I didn't listen to or that I just didn't get to in this video that I still want to acknowledge and I just want to see if you guys are like triggered by any of these if it like brings back some flashbacks of like too much eyeliner and like raccoon clips in your hair so let's let's just take brand new black veil brides Hollywood undead dashboard confessional death cab for cutie Jimmy eat world Hawthorne Heights AFI Sayasin asking Alexandria Tokyo Hotel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. This was fun. I mean, I do this like every other week to be honest, but it's cool that I get to do it with other people. Not physically, but like, you're there. I feel you watching. What's up? Let's be friends. You know what friends do? Hit that like button. You know what else they do? Comment with some of their favorite songs, bands, or memories from their emo phase. Let's be best friends. Cause you know what best friends do? hit that subscribe button because I make new videos every Thursday and I mean they're not terrible it's not a total waste of your time let me know if you like this because I'm trying to figure out what kind of content exactly this channel is mostly it's just been me being an idiot but if that's what you're into just let me know and I will keep the stupid coming I'll see you guys next week with another video peace stay tragic next Keely Williams Keely Williams is most famous for being in 3LW and playing Aqua in The Cheetah Girls. You pick which of those two was more prominent in your life. I can't tell you.